feel like an up tempo offense is going to help you against defenses together? Well, we're going to. You know, we're going to have to take it one game at a time, and, and obviously that that comes a lot through film study. But you know, that's that's more of a, a coaching question. You know, more scheme based on our opponent. Um, you know, that's that's for those guys. But um, just as, as the quarterback, you know, you understand that your your tempo and your pace kind of drives the offense. So making sure that you're stressing that in practice is, is, is critical every day. You like playing in that zone? Like, do you feel like you get in the groove? Yeah, I mean, once you, once you get going, I mean, you can play it in great rhythm, and you know, it's it, it's fun to play in. And, you know, but it, it really just comes out being successful and everyone loves being successful. It's only when you're successful, it's not when it's not, you know. So um, you know, we're just doing everything we can right now to, to make sure that we can be as successful as possible. I feel like the second half of last season was a little more natural and Definitely, and, and it may sound it may sound cliche, but you know I really did feel like I was improving every game and, and you know learning a lot every game. So um, now to you know kind of have a, a, a true season under your belt, um, you know you can just feel more confident coming in the next year. No, um, you know it's one of the things where. And, and the more you try and, and, and worry about that, you know, the, the more it affects you. So it's one of those situations where you really just got to forget all the outside stuff and just control what you can control. And I know I've said it before, but the most important thing is just going out there and competing like you're the starter every day. And, that, and that's what I'll do um, for as long as I'm here. So uh, that mu not much will change, you know, from my end. How much do you think you've improved from last season? I think I've, I've improved greatly. Um, you know, I spent a ton of time in this past, you know, off season this summer, um, working on all the things that you know the coach and I identified as you know, some weak points, um, and it made a lot of progress in, in those areas. So um, it's exciting to see how those things translate into more success on the field and, um, and and playing better. But more than anything, it's just, it's just great being back out there and uh, you know playing more confident with you know the other ten guys around you. Um, you know, tying in, tying in my footwork um, with my throws, um, keeping a better base, you know, when I throw on the ball, and that really just led to being more accurate. Um, but, you know, a lot of those things, it's easier, you know, it sounds a lot easier you know, when you say it than, than actually doing it because you know, there's so many, you know, habits that, you know, you need to break, you need a lot of reps to, to really break those habits. So the summer was an important time for me and really just spending a ton of time with my footwork and, and uh, making that as good as it could be for football. Physically worried. Oh, I'm 100%. Yeah, I feel feel body feels great. Coach was talking earlier about one of the reasons for the great focus is that you guys are so worried about the year we're having. That's part of it. Absolutely. I mean. Um, you know, the guys on the team, you know, see where we can head and, and, you know, we understand that through hard work and through dedication and through consistency every day in practice that, that those goals are, are attainable and, um, you know, it really starts with, you know, kind of the seniors on the team identify that, you know, this is something that can be done and, and you know, we're doing everything in our power to make sure that, um, you know, the leaders at each position group are, are pushing guys every day in practice and making the team better every day and doing something. People have been trying to make that push here for a long time and it's really I mean, I really just, I think that we've got a, a real special group of guys, and, um, you know, talk is cheap, and, and obviously anyone can say that, but, you know, I really believe it, um, and I believe it when I, and I believe it because I see it every day in practice, I see guys coming to battle every day in practice, and, and not being satisfied with, you know, subpar effort, you know, they're, they're pushing guys around them, they're pushing themselves, and um, it, it feels great being around a group of guys that is the best, is, is the group that we have. College players and the tourist or usually don't look in the past, but this place is full. Is there a, how do you guys use something you can do when you don't think about something you have to accept? Yeah, I mean, part of, how much, part of the deal. Are you talking about just how much of the past you're talking about? Just, I mean, it would, you would have to be incredibly naive to, to be a player here and not understand the tradition of right. Notre Dame. I mean, that's something that, you know, stress it, from as early as you being recruited. I mean, that's, this place is different from everywhere else in the country. Um, you know, guys really do understand the tradition of this place and understand that, you know, when you're tapping the sign coming out of the tunnel, that you're playing for the people that came before you, not just yourself, and you're playing for something a lot bigger than yourself. And, um, you know, I think that everybody on the team understands that. 
Um, so it, it, it's something that's special, something that resonates within this team, and um, you know, it, it's one of the another form of motivation for us when we go out and play. Dave, what was your role with uh, Tommy at the end of the last season, you know, when you weren't being able to play? Yeah, I mean, really, I, I just try to help in any way that I can. I mean, just just share the experience that I had with him, um, you know, try and you know, help him see some things that maybe he wouldn't have seen, um, you know, because it's, it's different, you know, from what you see in the press box and what you see on the sideline and then actually what you see, you know, on the field. So um, really just try to just serve in any way that I could um, and, and just be there for him, you know, for support. Um, but really, it just came down to whatever I could help with. And was that was that experience, even though you weren't able to get on the field, was that experience beneficial to you? You know, at the end of the season, then even into the off season and into training camp this year. Well, you're I, going to be I think this so. Year? I mean, I definitely think that I saw things a little bit differently. Um, you know, from a more removed uh, perspective. Um, but at the same time, you know, you're dying. You wish you could be out there and playing, and, and it kills you. But. Um, Really, it just came down to just, like I said, serving in any way you can. Would it, Brian? Uh